All right, we got an 11 game main slate for tournaments here. Looking right now at the Roto Grinders odds and the over under. Interestingly, you got to put this in order here. Right now, Cincinnati, uh, New Orleans at Cincinnati, the highest, followed by uh, Cincinnati, uh, uh, yeah, the Atlanta, Cleveland, and then the uh, Washington Tampa Bay game. But if you notice the closest line is Washington at Tampa Bay. This is an interesting matchup for the name, main uh, Millie Maker, you know, tournament on FanDuel. We're looking at because. Well, for a couple of reasons. Uh, all these games are expected to really go under right here, according to Sportsline. As I look at it here, try to get some adjustments and discrepancies and different uh, what experts say and so forth. And the lines, of course, totaling as well here. Uh, negative three for Tampa, favored. But that, so that game basically is most likely going to overtime. Uh, this, a lot, a lot of been, you know, a lot of overtime games this uh, season. So if you get one here, and it goes the extra quarter, you got more fancy points for your players. Now, also interestingly here in the matchup, looking at the quarterbacks, I put this in order on Draft Dashboard. you got to get this. It's a must-have tool so you can be able to watch your players that you need to watch and then sort and organize, create massive uh, amount of lineups if you need to, or just focus in on uh, whatever you want to do on a few good lineups, including the Millie Maker. So um, Alex Smith, the giving up the most points Tampa Bay is to the quarterback position. So watching him, also not high over in the game. Now watching uh, Dalton, since I already figured out my cash games and roll with them, make adjustments along the week, now we're just adding some players on for the tournament so we can make it a larger pool of players to select from. Uh, Baker Mayfield, perhaps also, along with Breeze, for tournaments, but not cash. And also looking forward here to the running back position. Let's see who else we can add in for the tournaments. That's just taking you through my process here, walking through over my shoulder. as who else we can select as the best matchups. While that's coming up, uh, but here again, the best matchups of the week. What running backs might have that? We're looking at Cardinals, Chiefs, Falcons, Chargers, Bears. One of these guys, I don't know which one. Uh, Maybe Peterson for the Redskins, they might have to rely on the run as well. Also, higher over under game, uh, Aaron Jones for the Packers. Let's move on. We have a wide receiver. You know, we know who are is going to be uh, mostly the chalk and cash. So we just have to add more, like I said, players to the uh, the roundup group here. Let's look to add some more guys uh, based on the matchup. And I, like I said, the high over under totals we were looking at and analyzing. So here we go now with wide receivers. We got to watch uh, Tyler Boyd. Uh, we could, if we want, throw some John Ross in there. What else we got? Maurice Harris, Doxon going downfield to him as well. Who else? Landry and Colloway, of course, for the Browns. I don't trust the other two guys. Let's see. Dolphins, I don't trust down the field. They're not going to get down there. <laughs> uh, Traquan Smith possibly could get down the field instead of Des Bryant. <laughs> um, let's see. Tyrell Williams, they get down the field. Mike Williams, they get down the field. Josh Gordon, we're going to get him make sure he's watched. Good idea, right? And, of course, our Tampa Bay guys, we've got to get Jackson. I like um, Humphrey, hum Humphrey's underneath. He gets open. Uh, Chris Godwin, a possibility, and of course Mike Evans. He had a, a bad week last week. He'll bounce back, likely, especially for these tournaments, as he just had a lot of difficult throws from, uh, as I was watching here, uh, from, I don't really want to bring that up, sorry, but uh, you get the idea of the picture. <clears throat> so then looking at the tight end, as a final spot maybe, and just organize and generate your lineups massively, get massive results. This is about all I will be uh, showing you for now for the tournaments. Um, just looking at, you know, if anybody, uh, any possibility of any of these guys in a good matchup going to score a touchdown. So just Jordan Reed, even though they have a weak offensive line this week. But I like Vernon Davis, you know, somebody to catch a touchdown pass, as well as possibly uh, Ben Watson. 
Breeze has one at the Hill in the end zone as well. Any guys that you know of, you know, um, just throwing them out there. Let's see. Ricky Seals Jones. I didn't realize the Cardinals are a good matchup. Yeah, better matchup with Kansas City as well as Hooper. Got to get him in there. You know, get yourself some Jimmy Graham possibility there and then move on. And then go ahead and generate your massive lineups here. Like I said, you got to have the draft dashboard to get that. Perfect lineups. It'll generate 10 lineups for you. So you have that. Make your adjustment stack. Two players from the team. Uh, maybe Trubisky, for example, with um, his wide receiver or, or the running back Cohen with their defense. And maybe, let's see, uh, or a better example, you know, uh, Ryan Jones. It's not going to stack them like this. you got to make some adjustments, like I said, before you insert them into your lineups. Make sure the teams are stacked up as they probably know or have an idea how to do that. All right. Uh, good. Uh, you know, have a fun, uh, uh, joyous time in your fantasy week.